I'm Kevin Neifert, and I'm the TV Metal Detective. I've found some incredible finds over the years. Diamond rings, engagement rings. I got hundreds of gold rings, silver rings, necklaces, old coins, relics. But the most exciting thing is when you, you find something you don't know what it is, you get on the internet now because all the tools are there to find the history on something and you dig it up and you go, wow, this could be an asteroid for all I know. I'm not a scientist, but maybe I'll keep it, take it to my buddy and show him. If, you know, maybe I found something from outer space. Well, I, I work for Remax. I'm a, a realtor. I've done that. I'm going into my 18th year. Uh, uh, not to brag, but I'm pretty good at what I do. I've probably sold at least a thousand homes since I've been a realtor. I'm so good, I don't even need a detector. What's this? A <laughs> loony and a toony right on top of the ground. They don't call me Hawkeye for nothing. Well, I, I grew up in Saskatchewan in uh, Little Town Salkos. And, uh, when I was about 12, we moved out to Calgary. My parents moved out there. And every summer I'd go home and uh, stay at my grandparents at the farm. I'd go into town with my cousins and we'd bike around, play, and we're across the lake and there's this, this older gentleman, he's up there with this metal detector detecting. And I've never, I've never seen a machine like that, so I thought, oh, that's cool. Here it is. You know, you just get a sixth sense after all the years where to go. It just kind of, I know it's like right here. Instantly, I can pop it out of the ground in seconds. Another penny. Half the hobby is just sharing it with others. That's half the enjoyment you get of it. Hi, my name is Charlie Kears. I am the TV Metal Detective's Apprentice. This is exciting. I've never actually uh, always wanted to do this. Yeah. Never done it. It's a secret. Well, I can't share all my secrets with you, my 25 years of experience, right. because I don't want you to out hunt me. So you'd say that there's really not too many people that are out doing this? Well, there's people out doing it, but is they, are they as good as I am? I don't know. Oh, Part of it is, is you try to get permission wherever you go on properties. Uh, when you dig your hole, you fill the hole back up, replace it like it, it, nobody saw you there, right? Sure. So take some pride in it, pick up the garbage when you go along, put it in your pouch, throw it away when you leave. I belong to the Metal Detecting Club, so we meet once a month, and what we do is we compare, share our stories, where we've been, some we hunt together, depending on what people do. And so we have four categories, one's treasure, and to be a treasure has to be at least silver or gold, and it has to be marked. Uh, coin, we have a coin category, and then we have a relic, so it has to be more than 25 years old, and then a trinket category where it might be costume jewelry or just something interesting, right? So if I get gold, then you have to buy the sky. Uh, no, we don't have a gold rule, because oh. uh, a lot of people don't find gold. Well, I'm but, going to. Okay. I feel it. Okay, so it. today, okay, this is what we'll do. We'll make up new rules for today. Okay. So whoever finds a gold versus a silver, we'll have the silver rule, yeah. but the gold rule, the other guy buys scotch. Okay. And uh, remember, big or small, dig them all. Probably like right here or something. Right there, duh. That's on the top again. <laughs> Jesus. On the top again. Dad, how much help do you need? So I'm learning that uh, you don't always have to dig. So yeah, that's probably what I should do first. Look on the ground. So and start digging. Hey, skinny, come here. Come here. Maybe. Found something already? Yeah. It's better than a penny. It's a ring. I haven't touched it's it a yet. Ring. But yeah. Okay. So. Holy crap. Right. So it's, it's been here for a while, obviously, right? Wow. So what was the rule that you made to add it to coin, I think. No, no, it's uh, the silver rule. That you made a gold rule up, so uh, oh, I guess you're buying the oh, scotch. I it was, yeah. Because <laughs> I think he doesn't want me to find anything good, so he sends me away, away, and then I think I'm just going to follow him a little bit more. And then you can break it down like this, find a coin. Yeah. I bought my first metal detector. It was about $250, just a basic machine. And uh, I went out, uh, once the snow melted, I went out to a park and kind of like uh, Charlie was today. <laughs> and I found a bottle cap and a penny my first day out. And I'm going, really? That's it? This sucks. <laughs> once you start and you can't do it for a couple months, yeah. you get cabin fever. You have to go on holidays right. to do this. Yeah. It's a passion, man. Yeah. I've been married to my beautiful wife for 20 years. We just celebrated it. Uh, it's pretty exciting to make it that far. Happy. I'm glad she kept me around. <laughs> and uh, three beautiful kids, uh, Rebecca, Sam, and Benjamin. And uh, they're, they're, uh, it's what I do work for hard, it's for them. And um, 
they're my passion besides this, anyways. So, <laughs> uh, Benny. Oh no, oh, that's a nickel. What is that? That's awesome. That is, that? is a. 1932 five cents. Holy crap. Yeah, well, congratulations, okay, that's exciting. We've gone so far away from hobbies like collecting coins, stamps, and other things because of the TV, Xbox, and things like that. Kids don't play outside anymore, whatever. This gets them out. When you get out, it's so beautiful. You get up at the crack of dawn, drive to a lake, the sun's coming up. It's so peaceful. It's just amazing, right? Yeah, can I get passionate about it? <laughs> of course I can. Really, it's just, um, it's what I do, it's part of me. Boom, hit this, 1871, Prince Edward Island penny, large cent, before Canada was a country. Wow. So Charlie, you've been a great apprentice. Uh, finding that nickel today, that tough find, incredible find, but wasn't as good as, it's my gold diamond ring. You know, it was yeah. beginner's luck and I'm grateful that I was able yeah. to actually get something of some significance. Yeah. Thank well, you for teaching me. You're welcome. I'm not going to give you all my secrets, right? Okay. But I'll give you one more tip. Mm -hmm. So when you're at the beach, you got to be careful for the women. They're all over you. All right. Well, oh yeah, they just love you because of the stuff you find. Some of them are gold diggers, I bet. Well, thanks. Go dig or go home. Cheers, buddy. Um, I think there's probably a better spot where you can find more coins for you. Okay. Um, sure. Because you need all the help you can I get. Help. I'm, uh, I've got two pennies. <laughs> And a beer tab. Well, and a loony you stole from me. And a loony I got from you. Well, <laughs> I, uh, I took the day off. You just want to use that to pay now for the I beer. <laughs> That's right. I got to buy you stock. Yeah. That's a lot more than beer. Yeah.